In this video, we'll be exploring the process of keyword research. Specifically, we'll be looking at understanding the keyword research process, the four golden rules of keyword research, and how to use Market Samurai to generate a list of relevant keywords. A great way to understand the process of keyword research is to compare it with the process of panning for gold. In the days of the gold rush, prospectors would take their gold pans down to a river and scoop up a collection of rocks, dirt and sand. Initially they'd discard the large rocks that were clearly not relevant and then they'd swirl their pan to separate out the heavy gold from the lighter sediment. At the end of this filtering process, they'd hopefully be left with a few nuggets of gold at the bottom of their pan. The process of keyword research is very similar. You begin by selecting a niche to explore, which is the equivalent of choosing a river to prospect. You then generate a large number of keywords relating to your niche, which is like scooping up a collection of rocks, dirt and sand. Then you can use a tool such as Market Samurai to filter out the good keywords from the bad. At the end of this process, you will hopefully be left with a few gold nugget keywords. The obvious question then becomes, what are the characteristics of a gold nugget keyword? Our analysis has led us to develop four golden rules for identifying the best keywords to target in your online business. The four golden rules are 1. Relevance 2. Traffic 3. Competition and 4. Commerciality a gold nugget keyword is highly relevant to the content on your website, it has a good level of traffic, it has acceptable levels of competition, and it has a high level of commerciality. We'll be exploring each of these in more detail, but for now, let's take a look at the first golden rule, relevance. Relevance is something that many people often overlook in their excitement to get their business up and running as quickly as possible. The fact of the matter is that if you target irrelevant keywords, you may obtain a top ranking in Google and you may even generate a lot of traffic to your website. However, if the content of your website is not relevant to the keywords you've targeted, then the people who visit your site will probably not be interested in what they find. In this scenario, you may end up with a lot of traffic and a big bill from your hosting company, but very few sales. It's important to realise that the secret to online success is not just traffic. The real secret is targeted traffic. So, according to the first golden rule of keyword research, you should always start by identifying the keywords that are most relevant to the content on your website. Let's take a moment now to see how this works in the real world using Market Samurai. In this example, I'd like to show you how to generate a list of keywords relating to a niche and how to refine your list to make it as relevant as possible to the content on your website. To begin, I'll create a new project and I'll use the well-worn internet marketing example of dog training. Now because I want to generate a list of keywords relating to my niche, I'll select the Keyword Research module. And to generate my initial list of keywords, all I have to do is come over here and click the Generate Keywords button. I enter a capture and click the Submit button. Market Samurai then generates a list of keywords relating to my seed keyword, dog training. Going back to our prospecting analogy, this is the equivalent of scooping up a pan containing rocks dirt, sand, and hopefully some gold nugget keywords. Now as I mentioned, the first golden rule of keyword research is relevance. Market Samurai provides you with several ways to improve the relevance of your keyword list. The simplest way to eliminate irrelevant keywords is to scroll through the list and if there's a keyword that is clearly not relevant to you, just click on the cross icon to remove it from your phrase list. For example, the phrase crate training is probably not going to be relevant to my dog training website, so I'll click the cross and eliminate that keyword. 
You can also use negative keywords to eliminate all phrases containing a particular word that you're not interested in. For example, let's imagine that I'm not interested in dog collars. All I have to do is come down here and click on the word collar and you'll notice that the program underlines the word to show that it's selected. Then I can come across here and click on the cross icon. The word collar is now listed in the negative keyword area and all keyword phrases that include the word collar have been filtered out of my list. In this case, four extra phrases have been removed. One thing I should point out is that if you want to eliminate the word collar and collars with an S, you will need to add them as two separate negative keywords. And now with collar and collars selected, I've filtered out seven phrases.